In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a volume, like this one right here, and create a notch in one of its surfaces. So basically, it's going to come across horizontally, drop down vertically, angle up, and then return to its, its horizontal surface. Um, the way I'm going to do this is to start off using the split face command, and I'll select that top extrusion surface. Then I need to determine where the axis for each split is going to happen. So instead of using the midpoint object snap, I'm going to actually type in an object snap override. I'm going to say near and then enter. And then I'm going to click on a point on the edge here. Now I've got my grid set to one unit, so it's going to snap to one unit increments anyways. And then I want it to be perpendicular, so I'm going to type in P-E-R-P. -E you can basically type in any of these abbreviations down in the object snap line. P-E-R-P, -E and then go over to the other side. Press enter. So now there's a small surface here and a larger one here. And I'm going to need a second split, so I will use the split face command again choose that poly surface that was created and do the same thing. NEA, oops, NEAR, choose a point along this edge, PERP, come across to the other side, press enter. Okay, so now I have these two sort of uh, face separators. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down this middle section about eight feet. So I will use the extrude surface command, select that center section, right, and then when I enter the distance I would put negative eight and again I want to make sure that delete input is to um, set to yes so that it basically removes any solid above that eight foot drop. And this eight feet, enter. Okay, so now I have this dropped area. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is to rotate this surface up. And to do that, I'm going to use the Fold Planar Faces tool. I'm going to make sure that I select the right portion of this. Kind of tricky to get in there. Um, click right there. There we go. Poly surface. And this is going to be my old axis, this edge right here. First reference point, that is going to be the bottom. Second reference point, and then I'll snap up to the top. And then I can just enter through those other steps. So let me repeat that one. There were a lot of commands and selections made. Um, I'm going to go to the fold planar faces tool, choose that poly surface, start fold axis, end fold axis, okay, the angle or first reference point. Now you could input an angle, but instead I'm going to click on the bottom and the top, All right? And then I'll just um, return through the final selection. So let's take a look at that in shaded visual style. There's my notch. Okay, and that's it.